I had come from a background where there was a lot of plant medicine and like psychedelics and even more um, addictive types of, you know, drugs that I was using very often and very frequently. And, you know, as I worked through some of the addictions with different drugs um, to keep, so the, to, to kind of tie this back in is there was this desire to be validated by the world, by other people. And so I drove that through like workaholism and financial success from a very young age. And so to fuel that greed, that need for power and control came with needing to fuel the, the system with things like caffeine or cocaine or different drugs in order to like keep that like boom, boom, like going as hard as we could, right? Which led me to being in and out of the hospital for years and a, a whole skew of different health ailments that came up that I had to, you know, work through some that are, have lingered that I'm continuing to, you know, process through my body. And, you know, all of that was still rooted in this, like wanting to feel seen and, and not abandoned and be welcome. So it's so interesting how all of it's connected in. It's so like, it's really not, we're really not that complicated. <laughs> I don't think we're all like, if we, when we really break it down, I think it's quite simple. And, you know, that, that journey led me into more of a holistic route to heal my body. You know, the traditional medical system didn't work for me. Um, it's beautiful for what it's needed. It didn't work for me. It wasn't helping the issues in my mind. It wasn't helping the issues in my body with antibiotics and things like this is actually making me more sick. And that's where I went into a more holistic approach. And in that holistic approach, I was obviously introduced to plant medicines. Now, this is before I was doing any of the breath work or the movement or even knew about meditation or nature walks or positive communication, not even just positive, just authentic relating, authentic communication, right? Just, I didn't know any of this stuff. And so I started drinking ayahuasca and, you know, smoking 5 mm DMT and San Pedro, Wachuma, these different medicines, which, you know, in that period did offer like an expanded perspective on what reality was. I was like, whoa, like this is crazy but what it didn't help me is integrate my day-to-day -day life it did not help me live daily as the person that i knew that i was capable of and it actually created pressure because i would witness these states of myself in the world that were so utopic at times and so like almost futuristic in a beautiful way but then i would come back to earth and i'd be like well, I'm still getting pissed off at the guy who just cut me off in traffic. And I'm still feeling really stressed out when, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do for work tomorrow, whatever these stories were that were tied in. And working out of that, I thought that was the answer. I'm like, oh, this is the answer. This is, you know, what's going to, you know, heal me and, and fix all these problems. No, was it a piece in my story? For sure. Did it give me some awareness? Sure. But it was the daily integration. And so after that, I ended up traveling and, and learning about breath and about movement. And I was like, okay, this is cool. And, and aspects of toning and breathing and, you know, different types of diets and fasting. I was like, oh, wow, this is really cool too. But those are all tools. They weren't necessarily like perspectives that were really radically shifting the way that I lived my life. They were habits that I was building into my life, but it still was almost on like a bit of autopilot. You can do yoga, you can eat organic, you can drink the juice, you can do all the supplements, you can do all the things and still be miserable inside. That's just, you can drink the ayahuasca, you, you can do all of the things and still be miserable inside if it's not what you're supposed to be doing, if it's not what feels the best authentically for you.